But like I said, we need a, we need a mixture. And we can't find what bees are able to survive unless, unless we allow them to actually do that. It's like putting your antelope in a trailer. Right, if you're gonna get your four by four out there, a little trailer, you got your antelope in there, you're gonna shoot off down through the Serengeti at 70, 75, 80 miles an hour, just fast enough to get away from the cheetah. <laughs> 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 Invariably, though, you're going to get a flat tire, and now your, your gazelle has gotten lazy and can't outrun a cheetah. <laughs> so what happens when you as a beekeeper pass on and your bees are unable to take care of themselves by themselves? You've now left a bunch of... of overfed gazelle sitting out in the yard <laughs> waiting for the first cheetah to come along and clean up the whole crew. If you don't let the antelope actually run, you don't know how fast it can run. <laughs>